I want to set a timer, which basically ensures that we lock the user out automatically if the token expired. To do this, I will add a new variable up there, logout timer. It's actually outside of my app because it's just some behind the scenes data I need to manage, not data which should re-render this component or anything like that. So it's not a state of this component, but just a general variable in this file. And now I wanna use or I wanna set this timer here whenever our token changes. So we'll add a new use effect call here. We can have more than one effect. And the dependency here is my token. If the token changes, then I want to work with my timer. Now it either changed because we logged in, no matter if we logged in through the form or through auto login, or it changed because we logged out. So here I wanna check if token is valid, which is the case after a login. And in this case, I wanna call set timeout here, like this, and point at the logout function if this timeout triggers. So logout, the logout function also is a dependency here. Thanks to use callback, it's never recreated and we have no infinite loop. Now the duration here, of course, depends. Sometimes it's an hour, but after auto login, it also very likely is less than an hour. So we should make sure that we reflect this expiration time here as well. Now the expiration time changes whenever we call log in in the end. Then we got a new expiration date. Hence, we can store this as state here. Token expiration date and set token expiration date. And here I call use state and set this to nothing at the beginning. In login, I then create a constant named token expiration date. Thanks to scoping, this will be a different constant than up there. But if this is confusing to you, you can choose a different name here and here then, of course. But this will not override our state or anything like that. It's just a shadowed variable in the end. I do want to call set token expiration date here though to also set my state and set it to the derived token expiration date we got here. So I set this here and React will batch these state updates together. So it will not update the same component three times. Instead, it will just batch this all into one update. And thereafter, in the next re-render cycle of this component, we'll have the correct token expiration date. So this will then be the token expiration date. So here in use effect down there, we should also add this as a dependency now because I will use it in this use effect function. If I got a token, and I got a token expiration date, then I want to set my timer. Now, of course, the timeout here does not take token expiration date as a second argument though, because this is a date here and not a duration, not a number, which I need to enter here though. So we need to calculate the remaining time. So remaining time for the token to be valid is basically the token expiration time, which is a date object minus new date, so minus the current date. Now like this, this won't work, but we can call get time here to again get this in milliseconds since the beginning of time, which is somewhere around 1970 in JavaScript. And here we call get time. So now we got the difference in milliseconds. And that's exactly what we need here because set timeout wants a duration in milliseconds. So I can pass remaining time as an argument here. And with that, we set the timer to take as long as it takes for this token to expire. Now, if we have no token or no token expiration time, then I want to clear my timeout. So I want to clear any ongoing timers because maybe we got no token anymore because we manually clicked on logout. In this case, we set the token to null, use effect would trigger, and I would want to clear my timer because there is no need to trigger logout again later if we logged out manually. We just might end up with multiple timers or something like this if we then log in again, which is definitely not what we want. Thankfully, set timeout returns us an ID of the timer it created, and we can store this in logout timer. So in this variable I have up there, it's just some behind the scenes data I store, so we don't need to manage this in state. 
And then I can use the same logout timer here to clear this timer whenever the token changes again. So when we log out, we clear the timer. When we log in, we set a new timer. So with that, we hopefully have a flow that now works. Now let's see this. If I authenticate and I log in, I am logged in, of course. Now, if I reload here, I stay logged in. Now, if I go to the application area of my DevTools here, I can edit this data a bit and go to the end and now change that time here to actually one hour earlier and then let's say 50 here. If I now hit enter and I reload, I'm still logged in, but if I wait for a few seconds, this time will be reached and I should not be logged in automatically anymore because my time is no longer in the future then. So let's wait a couple of seconds here. And indeed, now if I reload, I'm unauthenticated again. So this worked because I manually hacked this, of course, but just to prove that this auto login logic works. Now let's see if we are logged out if the timer expires. And for that, temporarily, I will reduce this login period to not one hour, but just to two seconds so that we see if we are logged out after these two seconds. So if I do log in here, I'm logged in, of course, but after two seconds, you see the switches. However, now if I try to log in again, I immediately am unauthenticated. So something is not working correctly here. And that most likely has something to do with logout because remember, we're having token expiration date as a state now. But in logout, I'm not clearing this. I'm clearing the token, but not expiration date. I should reset this to null here as well. Otherwise, we still have our old expiration date managed in state here, which of course will lead to an immediate logout, which I don't want. So when we log out, I also want to clear my existing token expiration date. With that, if we try this again and I do log in here, I am logged in and after two seconds, I should be logged out. But if I log in again, this should be possible. Yeah, and if I reload real quick, you see, then I had my auto login going on, but of course a new timer was set, which is super short, and I am logged out. So this all seems to work. And with that, we can of course increase this again and not wait for two seconds, but 1000 times 60 times 60 instead. And we therefore got properly implemented authentication with the functionality to automatically log a user in and the functionality to automatically log a user out, both after a regular form-based login or this auto login I just talked about. So this is our finished authentication flow. Now let's just do some refactoring to clean it up.